And this life that we live is filled with transitory moments. And we never know what's going to happen from one day to the next, from one moment to the next. We were talking on our, on our leadership staff meeting, on our leadership meeting last Saturday. We were looking at the weather conditions. We had recognized what had happened Friday night. And by Saturday midday, everything was clear. Everything was fine. So we're on this conference call making all these big and bad plans for y'all. We're going to have church. We're going to have church Sunday. Everything's all right. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to believe God. And we're going to come to church and have a wonderful time. We had noticed that some of our sister churches had already planned to close and said they don't have faith. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But we were making all these plans to come to church. And we thought everything was going to be fine. That was midday. That was in the afternoon Saturday. All that water had fallen. Associate pastor called me and said, uh, Rev, I don't think we have in church tomorrow. <laughs> They know we can't have church because the water had fallen in such degree, to such degree, that we just could not make it through the streets of Houston, Texas. Some of us getting trapped in our homes. Some of us couldn't make it. One of our staff members was trapped in the church because the water had risen so much around the community that they could not get away from the church building. You can have the best plans of your life, and then before the sun goes down, all that you thought you had planned to do does not come to fruition. All of us know something about the changes in life. Things shift on us, don't they? It can get difficult. It can even get demoralizing if we're not careful. And because it can get demoralizing, you and I need to make up in our minds to make peace with our transitions. In Romans 8, 28, Paul says, we also know that all things work together for the good of those who love God to those who are the called according to his purpose. And child of God, when you make peace with transitions, you understand that even this transitory situation is working for your good, that everything that comes in your life is working for a better you, a more stable you, a stronger you, a wiser you, so that after you've gone through some stuff, on the other side of it, you can say, I'm a stronger person now. I'm a better Christian now. I'm a better man, a better woman now because I went through it. I've got some people in church right now who can testify if you hadn't gone through that, you wouldn't be who you are right now. If you hadn't gone through those situations, you wouldn't be able to come to church and lift your hands the way you do now. But you found out that all things have worked to get, you didn't like it then, but you see how it's working for your good now. You didn't enjoy it then, but now you look back and say, thank God I went through that then because I can handle Hurricane Harvey and any other kind of storm that comes in my life because I've made peace with my transitions.